So it feels like we've been getting a lot of things sent to us over the past little while uh, from Kickstarter and some that you've seen already and some that will be coming out shortly. But today is actually one of the ones that, at least for me, I'm probably going to find, without question, the most useful. And, and again, that's for me because this is something that I didn't even realize kind of that I wanted, but they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try it. And I was like, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be super useful for me. And it's a product called Topwork, uh, the best workstation. So it is a, I want to say it's like a dock for your laptop. So a USB-C dock. And we're going to take a look at that right now. Uh, it's, it's right here. And, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, coming up. Okay, guys, here's, here's their Kickstarter page and you can kind of see a little, little video going on here of it. It's like a little tiny stand, like a laptop stand, but really it's just, it's got your dock in it. So is this the most uh, portable friendly dock in the world? Well, yes and no at the same time, right? Because if you're carrying a laptop around with you anyways, then this probably isn't going to add a whole lot of space to your bag. Definitely a little bit. It's kind of going to thicken everything probably twice as much. But the convenience of this for those of us that need it, I think is going to be a second to none. And it's, I think it's an 11 in one uh, USB-C hub. So that's even cooler. So I have my MacBook over here, but I also have my new Windows laptop. And my Windows laptop is probably the one that I'm going to use the most for this. And the reason is, is that my, my MacBook, which really only has two USB C ports and that and that's an issue for a lot of us because we would need a hub and I usually carry around either one of these you know this is the kind of USB-C hub that we all kind of know of um, or I carry around one of these which is one that kind of slides in the side depending on my needs for the day I even have a little one for my iPad so they're 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 out there depending on what your needs are again but um, I don't usually plug a lot into my MacBook. I like it just kind of clean and really the only thing that I kind of plug into my MacBook on occasion is like an SD card or probably or possibly like an external hard drive on occasion, but that's really it. So a lot of times this this works just just fine for me and it's and it's small. Now the other thing too is that sometimes we need a stand. So I have these and again these this right here um, super portable like you can't beat this for portability it just kind of opens up to whatever size you want and if you're looking for portability but you don't need the hub that could be a really good option but for me this this is it this is it right here okay you guys can see it okay very cool this is my 14 inch uh think book and you'll see if you set it on there it's it sits beautifully right there you guys hopefully can see on the side here right right there there's all your there's all your different um ports so you you have like your power so that's your usb-c and hdmi a vga and ethernet two usb threes two usb twos you have a headphone jack you have an sd card you have a micro sd card which is you know, what more do you want plugged into this? I don't think you need anything else. Now, the other thing, and this is what I really like, that I was like, cool, you have this, and of course, this is where this is gonna sit up against, okay? You're with me, I get it. And then this, you just pull this up, and you guys hopefully can see that, you have all the little areas here, depending on how, how much you want that. Now for me, kind of mid is fine, like we're sitting there, it's good. I'm loving it, and all we do now, or maybe even I'm like, eh, just lower it down a little bit more. Cool. That goes here, right? That comes up, like so. You're working. You're loving life, and now all you do 
Well, you should have done this probably before. Actually, I'll do that. Just show you. See, I'm messing up. I'm so excited. So excited. On the bottom, this is where your, you guys hopefully can see that. This is where your USB, they even have a slot for it. So it sits in there. When you're not necessarily, you need it. Then this pops up. Now we're playing with, with fire, with gas, gas and fire, all kinds of, and this, you just kind of plug it into there and you're good, you know? I even heard the, the Windows laptop kind of give me that don't do the lunk, right? Because it's detecting the hub. Now realize that uh, for all of these to probably be working, I would guess you'd want power running into this just to make sure that it's functioning, you know? So uh, I'm getting this popping up like crazy because it's detecting all kinds of different ports. But l just look at all that stuff there. You know, I can take my SD card now and just be like, yep, pop that in there, right? Look at it. Do you want to scan this? No, just continue without scanning. You're fine. You may be asking, Greg, Greg, why, why do you need this when this machine has on it an extra USB-C, an HDMI, a USB, a headphone, and on this side it has another USB-C and an SD card reader, et cetera, et cetera. Well, here's the big one. I'm just gonna close this down a little bit. Here's the big one for me. Ready? Um, this, a lot of times, is uh, sitting in my office and it is plugged in to my TV with a wired mouse with a wired keyboard, with an external hard drive, all plugged in, right? So every time, I don't have a ton of room, it's just kind of slotted in there. Every time I want to take this downstairs, I got to unplug everything, and then all the cables just kind of go flock. That's, that's what they do, just frp. Some of them fall behind the desk, some of them, whatever. And then every time I come back, I got to find all the cables, figure out where to plug them back in again, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of a nuisance, right? Whereas this, one cable, all I do is this will be plugged into power already using the same power that plugs or charges my laptop. And then all I do is take this cable, pop it in there, and it's good. Like, that's it. Why, why would you not want that? Awesome, and, and, we're not done. Oh no, we're not done. No, 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 no. So you got all your goodness plugged in here. And what's cool about this too, is because it has an HDMI and a VGA, for those of us that may still have a VGA monitor out there, but maybe you do, whatever, um, you can actually have two displays. I think one can be 4K 30, and the other one I think is can be 1080. But still, you can have two externals, that's awesome. Now check this out. When this is plugged in and powered, right? I'll spin this around so you guys can see it. Check this. See that right there? That little, that little slidey guy right there? Yeah, you see it. Wireless charging. Yeah, so you take this to the office, you know, and then whenever you need it, you just take your stuff out there, put your phone on there, your wireless charging, taking this with you wherever, one plug in to power, one plug, pop, power in your docking station. Let's not call it a USB hub. It kind of is, but let's call it a docking station, right? Because I think that's really, if you want a USB hub for portability, you know, probably get something like this. This though, it's a docking station, right? The ability to have everything that's permanently set up. How many of us, especially in the YouTube world, have a laptop? but we want it to work like a desktop. So we have a monitor at home and we have external hard drives and we have an external keyboard and mouse and all that kind of cool stuff. So when we're going to the coffee shop, we take our laptop. When we're going to someone's house, we take the laptop. But when we're at home, we want a full-size keyboard. We want a mouse, we want a big display. We want, so instead of having to plug all this stuff in, this just sits on our desk. We can angle it the way we want, push it up here, have your keyboard here, mouse, phone charging away, this is all connected, and it's one cable. You gotta plug in one cable anyway because you, you, you'd have to plug in your power. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my office. We're gonna plug this in. We're gonna plug this in to uh, my setup so that you can see everything that's, that's running through it. Yes? Yeah, yeah, because it's, 
It's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's let's head over there. All right, guys, so we are in the office where I do all all the magic. Not really magic, but you get what I'm saying. Um, and you can see I now have it hooked up to my television. All hooked up. You can see, hopefully, maybe my keyboard, my mouse, everything is working. I can come in here. You know, if I want to play a game, I can. And hopefully you guys can see it. If I tip back right here, there's the laptop right over there. And it's it's got everything plugged in. So right now it's got um, the USB-C coming in for power. It's got uh, HDMI out. It's got a uh, keyboard, which is wired. It's got a mouse, which is wired. And it's got a game controller. So my game controller, which is right here, is also wired. And this and this wasn't wasn't planned, but I don't know if you guys can see that. Camouflage, right? Camouflage, camouflage, camouflage. And this was this was a gift from my wife. Yeah. Right? So it all it's all kind of matchy matchy. Oh yeah. So I this this is gonna be fantastic for me. For sure, being able to just unplug the USB-C when I want to go, like literally, this is how easy it is. Ready? Boom. Now the other thing that's cool is, let's say I have this all hooked up over there and I decide I'd actually like to have my Mac on this display. Same thing, it's got USB-C, so all I have to do is come over here, lay this on top, plug it in, And there we go. We got the Mac running up here. So being able to move between your two laptops or be able to move between, you know, just being able to take it portable with you and then bring it back, all kinds of awesomeness. All right, so let's go back in the other room and we'll, we'll give you our final thoughts. Yes? All right. All right, so we're back here. Everything's back. We brought it all back over here. And I just want you guys to see their website. So this is, I see their web, this is Kickstarter. Again, this is a Kickstarter thing right now. Right now, at time of filming, uh, they got about 28 days. It'll be a little less for you guys because I'm posting this a couple days later. Um, but you're looking at, and it's not bad, because if you look at something like this, for instance, right, you're probably looking at $30, $40 US-ish in that range. Um, if you look here, Right now, you're looking at about $80. $80 US, uh, and that's for a super early bird if you can get in on it, which is cool. But you get a Qi charger, you get a stand, you get a full docking station. If you were to go to um, Lenovo, which is who I have my laptop through, and bought one of their docking stations, I guarantee you, you're not getting one for $80. If they even made one, you're not getting one. No, not at all. I don't even think they make one for for this. Maybe the the actual iBooks, iBooks, ThinkBooks, ThinkBooks. No, that's what I have. ThinkPads? Is that what they are? ThinkPads. Um, my wife has a docking station from Lenovo, and it was not cheap by any means. So this, and her docking station doesn't doesn't lift it up. It's not a stand. It's a pain. It's not really portable like this, right? You want this to be portable? You got a big enough laptop bag? You just you just fold that up. There's like a little briefcase. Got a little handle. Yeah, that's all right. All right, guys. I'm gonna put a link to uh, their Kickstarter page, their site, whatever it is, because I think I really do think this is cool, for sure. This is one of my favorite little devices and Kickstarter stuff that I've received um, in the last. I don't even know how long. Very, very cool. And for me, super useful. All right, guys, links down below if you guys are interested in picking this up or supporting their campaign. Just realize, again, it's Kickstarter, right? Supporting their campaign. And uh, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little bell, and we will we will have more, more little electronics and gizmos and gadgets and coolness coming up. All right, my friends, we will see you tomorrow. Later.